there. Welcome to the Particle Measuring Systems Podcast. My name is Ugo, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Daniele about pharmaceutical data management systems. Welcome, Daniele. Hello, Ugo. Thank you for inviting me in this interview. Thank you. So we frequently hear um, many acronyms about, from the market, such as EMS, FMS, LIMS, EM. We could probably list a dozen of them between us. Can you shed some light on them and how we should it interpret them in association with pharmaceutical clean room contamination control? Interesting question. And, and this is something I used to face every day. So I'm, I become familiar with these acronyms, but for sure, I know that they may sound a little bit complicated for those that are not within this environment every day. Yeah. So let me uh, maybe mention the most important one. Uh, EMS stands for Environmental Monitoring System, and this is typically what Particle Measuring System uh, is used to offer our customers. And uh, within the EMS type of system, we have our Facility Pro that frequently we call as well FMS as a Facility Monitoring System. Uh, another uh, big chunk of automation in pharmaceutical world is managed by BMS, Building Management System. Those are typically systems that, in, differently from uh, EMS, that are monitoring system, they are systems that manage, so they control, and they can control many different things like uh, um, security access or lighting or HVAC system. So they are really widely used in a modern system, in modern facility for sure. Um, another that is worth to mention uh, that you mentioned is the LIMS, Laboratory yes. Management System. Those are software-based and they are in charge of um, handling samples, um, by verification of sample and quality of the product within laboratories. So they are very important when we talk about product batch releases because they are typically at the end of the measurement change and those are software from where you detect whether the product is ready to go, can be released or not. I hope this clarify a little bit this word of acronyms. Yes, so what could you explain maybe what the main differences are and what particle measuring systems offers to pharmaceutical users? <laughs> Absolutely, and with pleasure. So, as I briefly mentioned, um, the the particle measuring system uh, main product is called uh, Facility Pro, and it's a system that combines uh, the acquisition of data from uh, particle counter, microbial sampler, environmental sensors such as temperature, humidity, pressure, for example, uh, with a number of different automation skills uh, to connect, by example, with a uh, filling machine to be able to start stop in case of a alarm and as well reporting which is extremely important when you need to uh, get your data out of your computerized system and uh, again being able to release your batch or why not identify any adverse condition and prevent those to happen again the main difference uh, with uh, BMS with building management system is that they are the environmental monitoring system, uh, they are in charge of handling your critical data. That's the main difference. And they are in charge of monitoring instead of controlling, managing a bunch of other area of the building. So this is pretty much a brief overview of what we offer and the differences. Okay. Well, based on your description, it seems like EMS or um, like you said, environmental monitoring system and BMS building management systems are very similar. Is this a correct assumption? Sometime this is um, misinterpreted. Let me say like that. Uh, I have seen many uh, installations, many scenarios where uh, BMS has been used to, con to monitor as well the clear room. Uh, this is technically possible uh, however, uh, validating a BMS, which is typically uh, a very high customized system that, again, can control 
many different uh, sh many different area of the building is quite complicated it can be uh, time consuming <clears throat> so when there is this assumption of considering bms and ems the same thing or overlapping uh, this may lead to mistakes and at least uh, uh, longer validation <clears throat> and difficult customization. So my recommendation is to choose the right one. So. So, so when someone is approaching a new clean room construction, which one should they choose, EMS or BMS? <sighs> Both, I would say. <laughs> there is no choice here because um, something I, I keep saying is you cannot really build a modern facility without a BMS. I mean, uh, everything about uh, safety, uh, fire control, lighting, uh, uh, HVAC system should be controlled by a modern system, by an automated system. And in this case, the BMS, the building management system, play a super important role. On the other end, when we go into the core of the clean room, where your critical data are generated, where your product is filled up into your vials or whatever container you use, then it's better to use a dedicated system, in this case, the EMS, to differentiate between the two, to let the EMS being in charge of handling your critical data and the BMS being in charge of controlling all the automation that are typically not critical for the release of the product. So short answer is both, each one for the specific application. Okay, so there's a clear differentiation between the two systems, both are needed. Some people may think that there's an error or we should move towards an era of single digitalization. Um, should, uh, that this common approach should be pursued. What do you think? Do you think there should be separate control systems or it should it be all together in one? Well, you know, the you, you mentioned the digitalization, you mentioned the, you know, the, uh, somehow the new technology and uh, having two systems doesn't mean that they are not able to talk to each other. I mean, considering to have two system is also a good way of approaching any future development with a clear risk mitigation path pathway in mind so relying on a single system may be nice when you when you envision that well i have everything combining into this uh, nice uh, and user-friendly software but you should always think about what happened if this system fail if the system has a problem or or even simpler if i need to upgrade this system if i need to do maintenance of this system so all of a sudden you may have the entire facilities holding on or shut down because of one of these events while having those separated first of all gives you more flexibility uh, we already mentioned the differences we already mentioned why you should use one or the other and at the same time it gives you a better uh, management of the data itself. Again, I'm probably stressing this, uh, <clears throat> this concept of the data a lot today, but uh, EMS systems are really designed to provide data outcome and data quality. So that's another aspect uh, to keep in mind. Well, data quality, this is the first time you've mentioned it. Um, and that I've heard about this concept. Can you give the audience a better understanding of it? Well, data quality is a, is a term that that somehow we we build that particle measuring system, and really, uh, it's it's our way to uh, move a little bit aside from common concept of data integrity. We always talk about data integrity, how the data should be securely stored and uh, unaccessible if you don't have the right username and password and so on and so forth. Everything about CFR 21 part 11 that I'm sure our audience uh, knows very well. Data quality is uh, going a little bit further, is going to the concept of uh, transforming those huge amount of data into information. Let me give you a simple analogy. Think about a Lego bricks. Yes, uh, the, the Lego, you know, the, the piece of bricks that uh, yes. <laughs> with at least once in life, uh, not only when you're young. Mm -hmm. uh, 
those Lego bricks as a, a single Lego bricks on its own may be meaningless. But when you build those together, they can help you building really almost anything, you know, uh, a boat or, or any kind of uh, interesting stuff. So if you get this analogy in mind, then you think how you can convert a single piece of data from a particle counter, from a temperature sensor, a microbial sampler, into a multivariate analysis with trend, with report, and so on, then it's the time when you get the information in your hand. And the information helps you to increase your knowledge and prevent adverse condition, improve your process, improve the quality, again, of your product, of your production. So this is typically something the BMS is not designed for. It's super good in handling uh, complex automation in managing different kinds of system under a customized environment. But when we talk about data, a dedicated system that knows what we are talking about, knows what the standard and, and the regulation, I can mention ISO stand, uh, ISO standard, GMP standard. So when it's time to handle those data according with the regulation, that is where a dedicated system will play the difference. Wow, that's a lot. Well, Daniel, thanks a lot um, for this discussion. Hopefully we can sit down again and have a further discussion about data quality and FMS. I appreciate your time and thank you for sharing mm -hmm. your knowledge. Thanks a lot, Ugo, for hosting this interview and I look forward for the next one. Thanks thank a lot. You. Thanks. Okay.